Most gyms in Texas are allowed to open at 75% capacity now. So you might want to hear new research from Baylor Scott and White about how wearing a mask affects your workout. KXAN's West Rappaport has the details. Exercise is part of Paula Lugo's daily routine, and wearing a mask is wearing her out. You won't be able to like last as long because you might feel like you're not um, breathing. She's one of 32 people participating in a study of how wearing a mask affects exercise. When it comes to running and high intensity training, it definitely, it, it can affect you mentally. Researchers at Baylor Scott and White want to find out whether it's in Paula's head or a real hindrance. It has broad impacts for people like us who just regularly go to the gym because uh, we might feel like we're working harder and um, it also has impacts for coaches across the country um, and uh, you know professional athletes who are having to wear masks. They're measuring oxygen levels, heart rate and how hard participants feel they're working to breathe. From a training standpoint, from an intensity standpoint, from a dosage standpoint, are we able to push them in the same way that we did pre-COVID with no masks or do we need to modify how hard we're working, how many reps they do, the intensity that they work out, the length of our training sessions, is that going to impact their, their performance and their, their health and safety? Paula says she felt the mask did not affect her short-term performance, but did take a toll on her long-term stamina. I definitely didn't last as long as with the mask off. She hopes the results of this study could also help gyms figure out ways to set up their equipment to maximize safety and endurance. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The researchers hope their study will be published within the next month.